Today I'm going to show you how to free up a frozen deck spindle. This mower's been sitting outside all year. It was covered. When I went to use it, this pulley wouldn't turn at all. This side would turn freely. This side wouldn't turn. After cleaning it up and playing with the blade underneath, pulling back and forth, I was able to free it up, but it's very stiff. When you release the brake, you can see it wasn't the brake that was holding it back, it was the brake frees up. What I believe it is, it's either a frozen bearing that I'm going to clean up or replace. Either way, the procedure is the same. What I'm going to do first is to remove these bolts, to remove this belt cover. Then I'm going to remove this nut off the spindle. Now I'm going to keep the blade on it so I could turn it, but the blades have to be replaced on this. And the way I have this propped up, I have these plastic barrels that I use for covers for my wood using it as a mini table and I have the deck on these wooden blocks just a little work tip these blocks come off pallets they're very handy I always keep a few on my workbench if I'm painting something I'll put it up on here if I have to hold something up this is off topic but I like to give a tip here and there that you might find useful so going off camera to remove this and once I have this off I'll be back right with the cover removed I put this nut back on so when I hit it I don't want to mushroom the top of the spindle out because I'm using the same spindle. I'm going to take this bearing out and the bearing that's on the bottom and I'm going to try to reuse the two bearings that are there. So to get it out I'm just going to bang down on it. I have this, uh, I have this hammer with a copper face on it. If not you can use a regular hammer with a block of wood. But either way put the nut back on not the mushroom top of this. Oh, well, I didn't even have to hit it. That was the first. Came right out. Now, to get these bearings out, to get the bottom one out, I'm going to get a punch, put it down in here, hit it with a hammer, and pop that one out. Then I'm going to flip this deck over and work from the other side, pushing this one out. Inside that spindle, you have two bearings, one on the top, one on the bottom. What I started showing you before is I would knock the one on the bottom out, flip the deck over, and knock this other one out. Now, these bearings should be full of grease. This doesn't have any grease in it. As a matter of fact, there was some water in it. This is the seal that was on it. If, you, if you're going to try to use the same bearings again, try not to break the seal. This came off when I was banging it out. I was using a, a flat iron to get it out. And when, I, when this happened, on this other side, I just used a, a pipe that fit in there. And you want to, if you're going to use it over again, and when you're pressing the new ones in, you want to put pressure on the outside of the bearing, not on the inside. And you can see the rust. These are just spaces that were in between the two bearings. The only function is to keep them apart like that. But look at the rust. So my next steps are one, to take this other sail off, take both sails off on this one, see if I can, sal if I can salvage this bearing. I'm gonna clean it out in some gas, dry them out really good and pack them with grease. It doesn't look like it's beat up or broken on the inside. Don't know about this one yet. So if I could recondition these two bearings, I'll be able to put that deck back together and I'll have that mower up and running. I pulled all four bearings out. I opened them up, I cleaned them out, and I repacked them. Now, on this spindle, there wasn't any clip, but on some of these spindles, clean it out before you start trying to bang it out. Some of them do have a C-clip in there. The grease on the outside of this bearing is just to help me get it back in. Inside the spindle, there's a lip. This bearing has to be pressed down to that lip. When you remove the bearing, whether you're using the old one or putting a new one in, fill in here if it's rough, rub it down with a little sandpaper, Wipe it out really well. Put a little oil, a little grease on it. Now you want to make sure this goes in flat. You see it's snug. 
You don't want to hit on this inside ring. You want to put pressure on the outside ring. I'm going to use a block of wood and a hammer. And I'm just going to tap it in. Okay, that looks pretty straight. And if it goes off to one side or the other, you can't hit it on the edge. This is going in straight. Now, this is flush, but we have to get it all the way down. Some of you might have objections to using the socket, but I'm going to use a socket that fits on the outside ring. If you have a piece of pipe of the same diameter, it's preferable, but I don't have one. So this is what I'm using. I'm just going to tap this down until it hits that recess. And that's it. Now, I'll do the bearing on the other side. I'm going to flip this deck over, put the two spaces in there, and then put the bearings in on the other side. flush <laughs> all right I have to move this camera out of the way so I can flip the deck and I'll show you the other side before I flip it over just want to point out a couple of things when you put your deck away after cutting grass especially if it's a little wet or if you leave your deck outside you want to clean the grass off in the middle here right in between when this deck is on the tractor you normally don't get a good view of this but i find that most of them rot out right in here you can see this one started even though it's got that little uh drain hole this is where they rot out and then you just start breaking apart in here you can see over here where the grass sat and the humidity and back here this is easy to reach but it often gets neglected i find a lot of decks that are broken here and cracked here and you can see this piece over here starting to rust so after i get these spindles taken care of i'm going to clean this up sand it down paint it a little bit but you want to clean this off and if you keep and if you keep your equipment outside cover it well that was the problem with this one here. This bearing was completely rusted in there, and I guess the water was just getting into it. This one was bad, but it spun. It just made a little grinding sound. And when I pulled the bearing out, it had no grease, on, it had no grease in it whatsoever. Another thing, check the moving parts like your brake. You might want to put a little oil or a little grease under here on these moving parts. While you have the deck off, take care of this now it'll save you some aggravation later on just a couple of pointers there now I'm gonna flip this over like I said put the two bushings in and put the bearings in on the other side I have the bearings installed I have the blades put back on and the string here is just for the purpose of the video to hold the brake off the pulley when I cleaned up the bearings and I spun them they sounded fine now that I have it installed, there's a little bit of a grinding noise. I'm going to order new bearings all the way around for this unit. And I have to order new blades. The blades on here are completely shot. I'm going to install this deck with the bearings such as they are and the blades. It's going to be the first cut into the air. And you always end up picking up a stone here and there, especially along my driveway. My snowblower just blows the stones right up on the lawn. Try to get them out, but... You know how that goes. I'll be using this deck the way it is until the new blades and the new bearings come in. The procedure will be the same. It'll be a lot quicker because I won't be cleaning these bearings up. If you want to see how I clean the bearings, I did the same procedure on another tractor and it worked. Just so you hear what I'm talking about. Okay, I have the brake released. I'm just going to spin the blade. This one's not too bad. This one here. Ready? It's pretty loud. 
Now I've run decks that were louder than this for years without any problems. But I like to put the new bearings in here. Because I have a few other units that I'll be working on. And this one I might let go. And if I sell it, I want to sell it with nothing wrong with it. So for now, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, let me know. Post your comments down below. Give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell not to miss any of my videos as I upload them. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.